no idea why that wheel spins so much longer than that wheel. It, it really bothers me. Welcome back, everybody. It is, it is Wheelin' Wednesday. It is Lil Yella heading over to Ancient Kingdom. And it's a, it's also my wife's birthday, so we, we got to keep the noise down. Otherwise, she'll hear what I'm doing. Like, we don't have plans for stuff, obviously, for hours into the future. I, I film these in the morning. But, uh, you know, it's just like she has that sense that you're doing something. Like, and if you're doing something, you should be doing something else. So let me get a battery in yellow. Here's hoping I have one charged. And uh, we'll head out there and we'll we'll wheel around a little. That's that's what we do on Wednesdays. That's why it's called Wheelin' Wednesday. Sometimes I start to feel like there's some kind of a Toy Story thing going on because these guys will just sit in their little parking spots and I I take one down out of the garage and like the steering is messed up or a wheel is loose. I guess it's just that I, I don't take a close enough look at things when I'm done and I'm putting them away. Uh, you know, pull the battery out, put it back in its garage. Going this way here. Heading on over, it is, it is crispy cool this morning. Drive over some hoses. This is a, uh, this is Ancient Kingdom. Let me, uh, let me find a place to sit down. In terms of obstacle complexes, Ancient Kingdom is really one of the smallest. It shares this little, this little area here with the pagoda and the, and the bridge. And it comes around and then this is on the other side of the, the tree. This is precious stones on the other side. So it's not, it's not really a big place. It effectively has about, there's three or four lines you can hit here. So I thought this would be a prime opportunity to uh, test another rig on the VXT2s. And uh, try my hand at that no side lug again. This is, this is the first line. This is the entry on here. This is one that tends to roll people over because it's like a, it's like a secret side hill. You don't notice how side hilly it is. You have to get your front tire hooked up over there. And then right here, depending on what the caddy corner tires do, the left front and the right rear, that's going to determine if you manage to claw up over like this or if you roll out. And a lot of people tend to roll out. Dig back down. So no, no, no problem there, as we, as we would expect. Then you got this kind of line right up here, which is more about a can you breach onto that same sort of obstacle as right here. There's nothing really at the front for you to try to get grip on. So you got to try to basically use the side lug on that left front. You got to pull, pull, pull. Come on, Deep Woods. And then if you get too far, which I think we've gotten a little too far over, you get your rear pumpkin hung up. Little advantage to portals there, but we can try to reposition. Try to take it over a little bit. That might be that might be something. We've got a we've got a bit of a wheel stander there. Maybe a little too much. Pivot it. Yeah, see, there's that big, that big shape right there, that kind of like inverted boat hull shape. That's tough to get by. You can try the little attack of a little bit more vertical here. Try to pull up through this. Try to keep the, the body off, try to keep the chassis off. See, not quite enough can't quite get the tire up over that ridge to try to pull it over. There it is, there it is. Oh! 
I would say more accurately, there it was. I feel like I had it. Take another dig at that. That's one that might that might be interesting when it comes to the VXT2 as it is a taller tire. Goal was to pull over there. Should give it a little. Give it a little something. Don't don't cut loose. Don't cut it. It's a little trickier to get out of than the approach from the other angle. Then we have like one and a half, two lines that we can approach from the other side. Where you know you're properly into the kingdom when you have the thunderous sound of the fountain in the background. So we've got a line here that's not too difficult. Come up across here. Get stuck on a, on a water plant. But exiting out of it, it's kind of blind. So the proper, the actual, the main line here. Oh, here she comes. Here she comes. She stopped. The the main line is up this this vertical right here. Just kind of hard to pull up because it's one of those things that falls into the middle of the wheelbase. But I've not been here with Yella since he went carbon LCG. Of course, no spring change since he was last on rock. Again, trying to paw the other side of that rock nicely, nicely up there. And then there's what I would uh, consider to be the most difficult approach from this side. He does drive really light. Which is come around and try to get in between the pagoda here. You can see the uh, blower there in the background. I did indeed blow all the sticks and stuff off of here. Okay, here she comes. Yeah, I see you. Oh, that's hung up. That's hung up. Yeah, it's just perfectly placed. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't look. Ooh, please don't rock it back into the water with the rig that has nothing waterproof. You can see the, the, the glimmer of the, the water there. Okay, use as much of the pagoda as is necessary. Seeing that deep woods in the rear, come on, pull it around, pull it around, pull it around. That was using some side of the tire to get through. But are we through? Yeah, we're, we're th you know, we, we drove across the building, but we're through. So let's now just do it again. Let's uh, do that exact same thing, but I will uh, grab my little bag of uh, stuff that I brought with me and we will put the VXT2s on it. And we're still in that quest to see, like, do they do, <laughs> do they work on anything that I own? I think this, he's a little heavier than Ms. Direction, who tried them last. Yeah, I know that's a different obstacle. Doesn't matter, look at, look at that. Sideways up Slick Rock. Uh, we gotta find a rig those VXT2s work on, right? We have to find something. So this should be as good as it gets, as this is the exact same wheel, just in copper instead of chrome. So same weight, same offset, same everything. All we have changed is the tire. You'll see right here. Stay on there. You better stay on there. I'm, I wouldn't be upset if these tires turned out to work as well, because that would just free up a set of deep woods. Yeah, that looked pretty good. That looked pretty good. Now, going from the deep woods to this, if you can notice things of this nature, if you have an eye for circumference, you can tell that this is, this is a bigger tire. So we're gonna get some ground clearance. Look how high he looks. He looks like a monster truck 
And I'm sure that part of that is due to the fact that apparently the Gozer is a monster truck. Can we pull here? Yeah, the, the, the Vanquish Red, the compound, it's a compound that really seems like the dirtier it is, the less it likes it. Whereas I think Duratrax calls it C3. The C3 doesn't, the C3 cares not. Like it can be loaded with mud and grip exactly the same. I did not wipe these down because I didn't want to make it, I, I didn't want the, the, I guess it's a test. I didn't want the test to be reliant on how clean is the tire. Come on, get slow, get real slow. I don't even want to hear motor noise. Now I couldn't clear this line in the deep woods and at this particular angle. I'm not gonna get it there either. Okay, so how about getting the tire hooked up over here? Is this better or worse? Better or worse? I think I can't 100% see if I'm locked over. I don't think I am. I gotta get that tire. Boy, I hope it caught that as the app crashed. We got almost, we might have gotten, I don't know, six or seven total minutes of filming before the app crashed. No firmware updates, and I check. I check every time I turn this thing on. It, I, I, and, and yet, uh, at the same time, is it firmware or is it just the app itself? The, uh, you know, go look up DJI Mimo on the App Store or the Play Store, and uh, I think it's averaging right around two stars. I think that's accurate. I, I dropped out. Could have, could have, could have made that cleanly on one shot. Had the camera not conked out on me. We're gonna have to try to do something a little more side hilly. Oh, there we go. Is that gonna go? I mean, that's, that's honestly precisely what I had anticipated. I was kind of seeing if I could get to the tip angle and hold it, but instead I got to the tip angle and then, you know, tipped it. Wheeling yellow over here to the loud location, I did note that it had, he could turn much sharper to one direction than the other. So I open up the, the EPA settings on the radio and he's got like 30 points more steering to one side than the other. And I was like, eh. So we adjusted that and uh, all appears to be right with the world. That was, that was good. Now, how, how's the break over going to be straight? Just hitting this effectively straight. Little slide there. Kind of, kind of pushed it further into the notch. Let me hit that. Let me hit that a little straighter on. I think I got, I got a little too oblique on there and I think it helped it out. So here's top of the ridge. I think I did it very similarly on the, oh, oh, okay. This wheel and Wednesday is going to get a little, is going to get a little adaptive. We have to hit some other stuff now. Let's hit some known lines because I don't know. I don't know. Something where I can get side lug more into play. Oh, because I don't know. There's. There's some promise there. Earlier, the Deep Woods hit this with me watching it from the side and did it no issue. VXT2. Oh. Straight over the kidney bean. Right over the top of it like it was nothing. Another, another side assault here. It's too much speed. Okay, how... Is that gonna turn it? Wow. Ah. Okay. Okay. Ugh. This is this is really uh, designing itself out to be some kind of a worst case scenario because it's the same wheel but different colors. This is what came off of there. This is that wheel, but this is silver, and that's 
And those look so good on misdirection. Am I literally just gonna have to swap tires between identical wheels? I haven't changed a bead lock in a couple days, so I guess the universe is doing it out that way. All right, right in here, I usually get belly hung right in this area. Okay. How do we do on pink rock? Uh oh. Okay. Is it gonna is it gonna roll on me? No. All right. This is not conclusive, but this is also not inconclusive. Take a couple hits here. I'm gonna go straight for the. I don't know what to call this one. His stinger's pointing right at it. If we can if we can break up onto here. Okay, good. Now it's right across this. This is, because you can see where those rear tires drop in. Almost had it. Is that gonna break over? Okay, we might have to bump over. Maneuver it sideways there. Son of a crap. Son of a crap, it's better. Damn it, how, why does it have to be better? It's the definition of mixed emotion for me. Happy that it's better. But at the same time, now I gotta change bead locks again. And worse than that, it's not even really changing. I'm just changing the color of bead locks. All right, big side hill. Side hill has to have gotten, has to have gotten worse. Look at that. That is parked up there. Can we dig it back down? Yeah, all right. Whoa! I mean, that is a, that's a, you, you can say, I can't tell if you can tell, but right here, that's not shadowing, it's like a, it's actually dipped out. It goes it goes deeper right there. So it's 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 a really bad side hill. If you can cut well, we'll cut it inside more this way. I can get out of this. I can get out of this. I didn't I didn't honestly think I could get out of this, but I did. Uh oh. I, I can get out of this. Yes, they are very strange. It's a it's another thing. It's my brain, my 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 finger to brain interface wants to attack it the exact same way I would do on his previous sets of tires, on canyon trails, on deep woods, on whatever he's been fitted with in the past. Hunks. But they don't they don't drive like that. Now, I think the compliance is enough. Come on, keep that keep that high tire high. All right, it's pushing the the top side is staying down well, but I can, you know, I talk about feel a lot. I can feel the lightness. I'm not seeing a ton of fold in the sidewall there on the low side, and the weight will have transferred quite a lot here. It's gonna cut. I think before I get to the little, looks like a bunker, a little rectangle, I stuck a a, a, a cube of uh, DG, just wet DG. And uh, that's how hard it is. It's rained multiple times since then. DG is pretty amazing stuff. All right, we're just gonna keep it slow poking. All right, that that is gonna force it up to like, that's vertical on that top tire and I can't turn down Slow. If it cuts, it's gonna be one of those sudden cuts. That tire is up on. Oh. I honestly thought when I let go of the trigger there, it was just gonna let go. Look at it, look at it. It's trying to. That was, that was really nice though. That was really nice. And just, as far as vertical attack, yeesh. I guess yellow just really benefits from that ground clearance. And ladies and gentlemen, here at what I think will be our final setup for this Wheel and Wednesday, you can uh, you can enjoy the distant sounds of a planer 
as I roll it over into the gully. And how can I identify with such certainty that that's a planer? Well, that planer is sitting on top of my table saw right now. When you have a wood shop and a workshop and a place to make stuff, uh, unless you do your very best to keep it a secret, people will find out about it and they will come to your workshop and use your tools and space to make stuff. And that's fine. That's absolutely fine. If people want to make stuff, I'm all for it. How are we going to breach here? It's in a real in-between place. This is not the best approach. I usually go more right. Bump. Bump. Look at that thing fold up on the wheel in the back. Yeah. Um, little more tortuga than, uh, than what we're used to. He is just aiming straight roof. If he gets a big roll, he seems to be coming out on his wheels. But low speed rolls like that, it's it, it, he doesn't land on the side. He's straight onto the top. Is it worth the trade? And that's what we were here at Daphne's other line to find out. See, if you get a little more oblique like this, sometimes it can go a little better on you. That's rear links. There we go. Dig it there. Might have been a, that might have been a little too much sausage. We can do the. I know in a comp, if you move backwards, it's a reverse, but I'll use the dig roll. That's like, that's a canyon, that's an official canyon maneuver. Will that tire stay up or are we gonna roll out? We're gonna roll out. So what it is, it's not, it's not blows it out of the water better. It is conditionally better. And I think when moving from one tire to another, that is the case more often than not. I'm not sure there's such a thing as a tire that's better at everything. If there were, everyone would run that tire. And we've, the, the, the VXT2 has proven, I don't wanna, I don't wanna dig into the 25 cent word jar and say feckless, but it has not, it is not, look at that, look at the fold on that rear. They also, even with the sticky compound, they are slipping in the beadlocks a lot. That's how you get the real crullerization on there. The hunks would do the same thing right when first mounted. And then after a while, they would kind of like lock in. That might have been too much of a slide to recover from. I really just want to make it, you know. This is, this is a real world example here. And as he's having, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Might, that might be in the groove. That is indeed in the groove. All right, so that was good, but not great, as mentioned. So I lied, I lied. That's why I didn't even bother to begin an outro. We need to do Daphne's third. That will be the real make or breaker. If it looks even okay through that line, uh, I gotta do some bead locking. If it looks hapless and helpless, we go back to deep woods. It's pretty simple it's a it's a simple formula so hopefully the number of times the dj memo the dji memo app crashes today will be fixed at three it just crashed for the third time there hopefully it won't be noticeable in the edit but i like to point it out anyway uh, and it's definitely not a memory thing i checked my phone i think yesterday i have 155 gigabytes of free space on my phone so i don't i don't think that's it this is a line that has been very difficult for everyone except Daphne. This has kind of become the unofficial Daphne's line. Though the one at the fence is Daphne's line and has always been Daphne's line, so she will get to keep it. You see, there's a lot of, there's a lot of jerk and jitter there. Because right there, I think side lug is what I need. Can I pull the nose a little bit? If I zoom in, you can see that it, uh, the app crashed again. Uh, less than one minute of recording and it crashed. Where that left front tire is, I'm trying some real low speed on it right now. If there was anything on the sidewall of that tire, I think we bite right there and we pull over. But 
as, as I can't, I have to try, oh, look how white the side of the tire is from just rubbing that. Okay, so we can pivot around. This is kind of the Argenta maneuver, the Phoenix maneuver, and gets through on the Phoenix maneuver. But I think what we need to do is leave the camera exactly where it is right now. I'm not gonna move it. I'm gonna put the deep woods back on and I'm gonna do that exact same thing. This this will be the, the determinator. I'm gonna try to keep it as same, same as I can. Come on, get up. Try to get that front tire right there. Little push out. Dig it back, and dig it back. There we go. All right, similar, very similar. Yeah, real a real wide no, nose push, let's see. Then if I let go of the wheels, hey. I'm fighting the instinct of the rig to follow that line. The Argentum, the Phoenix maneuver. So aside from the little bit of additional ground clearance, got to put it at lateral move. So going to VXT2s on here would be a lateral move with a little bit of loss of side hilling ability. I didn't see enough. You know, uh, I've reviewed it and, and allow me to capsule review it again. The VXT2 is a tire that you look at it and you say, oh, you look at it, it's you look at it doing this. You don't just look at it sitting on a bench. You look at it doing this and you say, that tire is good, but why isn't it better? It, it's such a weird tire. And that's, are we three, four, four, five? We've, we've run a number of rigs on them now and they're not, they just, they, they really don't wow me. So I, don't, I, I, I have to unmount them anyway so that Ms. Direction can get her tires back. It's like a Deep Woods. And Deep Woods don't care about nothing. Like, we can do this. We can be like. And then Deep Woods are like, yeah, that's fine. Dirt, whatever. What's dirt about? We don't care about dirt. We're the Deep Woods. So. <laughs> So I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stick with the deep woods. I actually think I knocked some of the mud out. I think the tires might be a little cleaner than when we first came out here. They were still encrusted with mud from the last time Yella came out here and got encrusted with mud. So it was an experiment. It was a Wednesday with an additional experiment thrown in. And it, yeah, you know, at the end of it, did it go the way I thought it would? Yeah, it kind of did. The VXT2s showed some real promise there for a second, but I don't I don't think they're better enough. And I'm ignoring the fact that they're $30 a pair and the ones that sit before you are $21 a pair. So, you know, 16 bucks is 16 bucks, I guess, right? So there you have it. That will end this installment of Wheelin' Wednesday. Uh, tomorrow is the first new installment of so it's, I think it's episode seven of it. It came from the workbench volume one. That is the Tranquish. We are, we are going to work on the, on the Tranquish. And then we'll have the Friday wrap. And then I think we're gonna get started on the Blackjack build. We're gonna get started on that. That's, that's the hope at the very least. I have another servo test coming up. I might be able to get that done, one done for Sunday, which will be the MKS, the Holmes, and maybe the other two, the, N the two NSDRCs. Although I like to keep it to three because, I mean, uh, if you saw, as you may have seen, when I record uh, a three servo test, the damn thing can run 45 minutes because when I test these, I, wanna, I want to test them. Even if it's to confirm my own bias, I want to test them. So hopefully we can get these things done and up. And we bid you adieu.
from the a little bit cold, but a pretty good day for wheeling here in the canyon. We wish you all the best. We thank you very much for watching. We invite everyone to comment below, to like if they liked it, subscribe if they haven't, all of the, uh, the things generally associated with YouTube. We do indeed looking, uh, we, are, we are all looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And we hope that in the meantime, that you all, one and all, do your very best to have a good one, everybody. Happy Wednesday to all. Although Wednesday's probably over by the time you're watching. Look, I'm doing it again. See you, everybody.